we would like to be able to um, design a drugs that could specifically trigger endocytosis or block endocytosis so that we can regulate which molecules that can enter cells and into which cells. Endocytosis is the process via which molecules enter cells. Today's knowledge of the process is very limited. An increased understanding of endocytosis is necessary if we want to be able to more effectively target disease. So we're trying to understand how cells can regulate the, the amount of surface receptors, for example, but also how, uh, for example, viruses can enter cells. So the main challenges that we're facing is that we're trying to understand what triggers this process of endocytosis. Why are certain molecules uh, taken into the cells and, and how, what are, is the, the machinery that uh, is involved in this process? So our findings could result in that we could design uh, medicines that could block the inf um, infection by, for example, viruses, but also block the effects of bacterial toxins in cells. But we're also very interested in designing uh, delivery of, of certain drugs, like for example in cancer, where you could specifically target this, uh, the cancer cell and not the remaining cells. Dr. Lundmark hopes that his research can help meet medical challenges such as infections, as well as other medical problems such as cancer and mental retardation. I find my motivation in that uh, a cell is a very complex system and I really would like to understand more about this system. But I'm also very eager to understand more about how we could uh, in the future uh, design better medicines. So the support from the Swedish Foundation for Strategic Research means that we now can go for these high-risk, high-impact projects that, that, we, uh, that we're aiming for. So the dream use of our research uh, would be that we could specifically design drugs to target certain cells within our body in order to treat cancer more specifically.